Hey everyone, I'm Steph and welcome to my beginner spell kit course. I'm so excited for you to start your spell kit journey with me. I'm going to give a quick overview of what you can expect from this course. It is beginner friendly, so I don't expect you to have any prior spelt or spell kit knowledge, but having a basic JavaScript understanding will be beneficial. We're going to begin by covering the spell basics, then we'll learn about spell kit and more advanced spell topics. Now throughout this course, we're going to progressively be building an e-commerce site, and I'm going to link the repo to the final product in the description. So feel free to clone that if you'd like. I'm also going to link a repo that has each section's isolated code. So if you'd like to clone that before each video and follow along, feel free to do so. We're going to start by learning the Svelte basics, such as how to create a new Svelte project, how Svelte's reactivity works, and how to work with Svelte components, things of that nature. And then we'll move on to learning Svelte Kit and more advanced features like Svelte Kit routing, how to use layouts, and fetch data from endpoints using the load functions, things like that. By the end of this course, you will have a complete and solid foundation to start building apps with SvelteKit. Now, if you're already familiar with Svelte, feel free to skip ahead in this course, but if you're completely new or want a little refresher, I'm going to begin by talking about why we're using Svelte and why you should want to learn it. Svelte allows us to create lightweight modern web applications with highly optimized JavaScript. It's actually not a framework, it's a compiler, so it takes your Svelte code as an input and uses it to generate vanilla JavaScript. By compiling our code during the build process into a single vanilla JavaScript bundle, it eliminates the need to deploy a library like most other front-end frameworks. This means we're shipping the smallest amount of code as possible that's not only small in size, but also super efficient. This makes Svelte faster than most other front-end frameworks. Svelte also allows us to achieve true reactivity in our app. Most other JavaScript frameworks rely on APIs to tell it when data changed in order for it to update the virtual DOM, meaning its reactivity is tied to it. Svelte, however, does not employ the virtual DOM. Instead, it writes code that surgically updates the DOM anytime state in the app changes. This means we can achieve true reactivity. Now, Svelte itself is just the UI layer. It allows us to write code that is compiled into browser-readable JavaScript. What it doesn't do is things like routing. For that, we would have to use a third-party router. It also doesn't do server-side rendering. All of our Svelte code is only available on the client, which isn't necessarily great for SEO. This is where Svelte Kit comes in handy. It provides us with a built-in router, server-side rendering, code splitting, and so many other features that not only improves performance, but also the developer experience. So in the next video, we're going to learn how to create a new Svelte Kit project, and we'll go through it file by file to get a good understanding of the code base. I'll see you there.